I'm glad you're with us on Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz, and we are joined today by Michael Urquidez. He is with David and Margaret Youth and Family Services in Laverne. Uh, tell us about the organization a bit. Sure. David and Margaret is a full-service social services agency. Um, our cornerstone program is a residential program for adolescent um, females ages 11 to 19. Tell us about those girls. Well, the girls are referred to us from um, either um, the, the legal system or mental right. health, probation, most, probation, things like mm -hmm. that. Very um, small percentage of privately placed um, uh, girls come mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. and, and why are they there? What has happened in their past and what do you hope to do in terms of healing their future? Well, they're there because either the courts determine that their family situation mm -hmm. is, is, is not um, safe for them to be mm -hmm. or they don't have parents. And um, so what we um, aim to do is to either rehabilitate them, we provide them with psychological care, medical care, and all the supportive structures so that they can um, transition into a productive adult life. How many uh, girls are at the facility? We can house up to 50 girls at a time. Wow. And th is there a school on site? There is a non-public school that is called right. Joan Macy School. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's unique in that the, 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 the curriculum doesn't have to conform to the regular public school curriculum. Mm -hmm. So there, each of the students have their own program designed for them especially. Which seems appropriate. It, it seems perfect. You have 17 different programs though. I, is that one program of 17 or? That's one of 17. Okay, tell us about some of your other favorite programs within David and Margaret. Well, one of the programs that I'm, I'm really enthusiastic about is our workforce training program. Mm -hmm. So David and Margaret has always been sensitive to the needs of the community. Mm -hmm. And one of the needs that we identified was within transitional, um, with transitional age youth. Meaning foster out, aging out of the foster system? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So youth um, uh, transition out at mm -hmm. age 18. Right. And they're expected to go into the world and find an apartment right. and a job and mm -hmm. be sustainable adults. But for foster kids, and for most kids at that age, that isn't a reality. No. So instead, they fall, um, they become vulnerable to homelessness, right. to drug abuse, incarceration, <laughs> a, a long list of, of negative outcomes. And so our workforce training program provides the skills, um, paid and non-paid um, right. work experience, job placement, Is things this like that. occur in your Laverne facility? That's all on our campus in Laverne. And the good news is your campus is expanding. It is Tell expanding. Tell us about that. Absolutely. So the last time we had major construction on campus was in the 1960s when our residential cottages were built. Today we're in the process of, um, of building um, supportive housing. We have uh, 25 units for transitional age youth and 10 units for for low-income families. So this is in addition to the 50 girls that are there through the uh, uh, underlying program, 25 Girls can now move in for traditional housing. That's going to be mixed, male and female. All good. So, and then low-income housing for families. For families. Wow. And beside that, we have an 11,000 square foot training center that trains our, that particular segment to, um, with um, job training programs, wrap -around life services. skills, wraparound services. Yeah. Exactly. So how is this going to all work? I mean, the integration of all three programs seems inspired. How do you get it all to flow seamlessly? Well, um, we have a very talented staff. Of course you do. Um, it's interesting that the, the staff that has been there has been there for a long time, mm -hmm. decades in, in some cases, and they're fully committed and they just are really psyched about the mission of Any David and Margaret. We can get involved, donations, money, time. Absolutely. So we have the, the campaign for David and Margaret that was launched in the spring of this year, and we're aiming to raise $24.5 million. Um, we not only want to support our workforce training and transitional housing, but we want to expand key programs. We want to upgrade facilities. The website is davidandmargaret.org, all spelled out. He is Michael Urquidez. He is with David and Margaret Youth and Family Services. My name is Brad Pomerantz. I'm so glad you were with us.